Pecan pie from Gretchen Batchinger of Berwick. Hard to pass this up in any season, but I digress. I do confess to an early start on the Christmas season. A lone leaf in early autumn like this one from Susan Setta of Scranton will do it. By the time an image like this one from Nancy Scherer of Laceyville can be had, I'm well into the season. Things move along. A sunrise here from Lindsay Kurtz of Milton. The first glimpse of a day ahead that just might be better than yesterday. The day blossoms, darkness leaves, the sun brightens up the world as it did in Bradford County for David Colcharno of Scranton. Who knows what we'll see, what the day will bring. It is the Christmas season and anything's possible. This is from Eileen Chorba of Beach Lake. The day ends and Philly Bob Squires of Albrightsville was there to see it. Christmas spirit, some would say it's best seen at night when the moon comes out, as Mark Zenyich saw over Bear Gap. Here the moon adds to an already delightfully decked out home, the Shillings and Honesdale sent by Kayla Perkowski. More of the Christmas spirit here with an equal moon view. This is from Susan Clark of Music. A bit of snow, the Christmas spirit shines on an evening. Roxy Vanderpool of Tawanda labeled this quite correctly, Winter Wonderland. And here, Lisa Rowe of Stroudsburg offered an image taken in Scioto and labeled Happy Holidays. In Milton, a home that sings to the season, doubtless giving all around Christmas spirit. It's the home of Jacob Kerstetter, plays its own music and includes a singing star. The Huber Home in Williamsport offers another look at Christmas, more spirit of the season. It's an 1895 Victorian home. Its portrait comes from Anne-Marie Huber. In truth, the spirit of the season can be found anywhere. An example from Gretchen Batchinger of Berwick here. Go look for some of your own. See it, save it. Send it on into the PhotoLink Library. See you next time. I'm Mike Stevens.